Well, I'm glad to have that job done. Spraying, uh, killing weeds is definitely one of my least favorite jobs out of everything we do for deer. It's just, it just takes all day when you're doing this much stuff. Obviously, you don't enjoy working with the chemicals that much, but I cover up good to try to have some sort of safety involved. And it's just really stressful when you have big fields and you're just, you have little equipment, but I think we got it covered really good and uh, we should have a good successful stand of beans this fall. You can see they, they all germinated fantastic. Some of them have been nipped off at the ground level and killed them, but we've got 22 acres of beans this year, so the deer can't keep up with that. And then we've got a couple of acres of greens, or probably five or six acres of greens, clover and alfalfa plots. So they should have plenty of food this summer and they shouldn't be able to keep up with them. But yeah, today was all about spraying. We made a day trip down here. So um, gonna be about five hours of drive time, but we wanna start showing all this work that we do in the off season. And we haven't been very good about showing it in the past. And that's mainly just because when we're out here, we're all working. When I was, even today we didn't film enough, but it's gonna have to be what it's gonna be. I was spraying all day because I brought a long sleeve shirt and he didn't. And uh, he was mowing plots and tilling in front of the box blinds. So it's hard to do it without a cameraman, but we want to start taking you guys along and showing you all the stuff we do and why we do it. And just kind of let you guys follow along throughout the year a little bit more so we don't have such a, a, a dead time during the off season. So this will be the start of hopefully, hopefully weekly or bi-weekly up, updates where we're just showing you what we're doing to prepare for hunting season. And uh, yeah, so like I said, today we sprayed. Got 22 acres sprayed. What we did is just spray it with uh, two quarts per acre of glyphosate. Um, nothing fancy, real simple, just a post-emerge herbicide. And would have sprayed probably last weekend. The weeds got a little out of hand, but they're not, they're not too bad. It was too wet last weekend when we were down here. So it just, it is what it is when you're only doing it on the weekends. But if we waited another week, I think this would have gotten a little out of hand and uh, luckily we were able to sneak down here and get this in. So should have pretty good beans this fall. We, uh, we went back to doing pretty much all beans this year. Um, we will have some sorghum strips. We're gonna put those in next weekend. Um, I think today is, I don't know, it's early June, I'll put the date on the screen, but that'll be next weekend. But other than that, it's all greens plots and soybeans for our grain. So the reason we did that is because last year we planted I think around 11 acres of corn and it's just super hard to grow corn unless you're doing it right and you're doing it on a big scale you have a lot of acres because the coons will be half the damage and the deer will eat the rest and by the time november rolls around you won't have any corn left and that's what we found last season it worked pretty good for directing deer movement to the blind but ultimately we ran out of food and we don't want that to happen or, or continue to happen again so we went back to beans and we'll talk about that a little bit more next week when we do the strips. But we're still gonna have our strips where these rye strips are. That's just coming back up from last year when we planted, that was just a cover crop, a nurse crop for clover. Those are clover strips, kind of. They didn't work that well. But we'll be having sorghum strips on there to still direct the movement. And we think it'll still work out all right because we had this, the very first year we were able to get big food plots in, grain plots. We had this and about 11 acres of soybeans that year. And even though it was pretty much a monoculture of soybeans, I mean, not even these strips, Trevor still had the unicorn buck work out from probably 350, 400 yards, that timber out there. And we strategically placed only two green plots on this food plot and the best ones right here in, in one of our most easy to access blinds that we get to hunt a lot with just perfect wind, good access, and it's a we purposely only made one green plot so the deer aren't gonna just feed on soybeans and when you do that it forces them to move around in the plot and we put a scrape tree in front of the blind and it just seems like this has been a central hub. Even though a lot of times they come out three hundred yards plus away from the blind, it's been two seasons in a row now where the deer have worked all the way in to twenty yards and given us a chip shot. So it's been pretty awesome to take a I don't know, 15, 20 acre field like this and and break it down to where we're getting pretty much consistent shots at big bucks. So 
yeah, I thought we'd share that, and that's kind of what we had going on this weekend, but I think that's going to wrap it up for today. We're going to get cleaned up and hit the road, go back to work for the week, and we'll see you guys next week.